Welcome to my channel friends, today we are talking about the story of the film named Miller's Girl. This is the story of a teacher who could not keep himself away from a young beautiful student. So without wasting time let's the explanation begin. The story began with a girl named Cairo, whose parents lived in another country. Cairo lives alone in a deserted house, where writing became her hobby. Passing through the jungles, Cairo reached a class where she met Jonathan Miller. Jonathan is a middle-aged man who could not become a successful writer, so he became a teacher. When Cairo came to Jonathan's class, he asked her to read some of the books given in the syllabus. But Cairo had already read all those books. Then another girl named Winnie came there, who is not only a student of this class, but also a good friend of Cairo. They both went out to eat something. Jonathan saw an adult book in Cairo's stuff. Jonathan's friend Boris also comes here to bring his coffee. He took the book from Jonathan and started reading. Boris and Jonathan both were stunned to see a copy of a book written by Jonathan. Jonathan's wife, Beatrice, is busy at night. To get his attention, Jonathan tells her that a student was reading my book in the class today. Then Beatrice got a call from friend Amy. But after the call, Beatrice and Jonathan drink together. As they got closer, Beatrice got a call again. And Jonathan gets frustrated. The next day he tells all this to Boris and Boris started making fun of him. Then they both see Cairo who is coming from the jungle. Unsatisfied with the last night, Jonathan was looking at her very carefully. He asked Cairo, don't you feel scared to come from the jungle? Cairo's answer was that I am the scariest thing in those jungles. Jonathan started laughing when he heard this. In the school, Winnie drops her books. Boris knew that she did this on purpose. So he asks Winnie, tell me what do you want? Winnie was deliberately teasing Boris. Cairo also saw this. She tells her that you are totally crazy. Then they both went to Cairo's house. Cairo was upset with a question of her college admission, in which she has to tell them about the biggest achievement of her life. They both discussed a lot of things, but none of them were unique. Then Winnie said that you have an affair with your teacher, and then write something about it. Cairo says that Jonathan is 20 years older than me, but Winnie kept convincing her, saying that all this is normal now. And Jonathan was also a good gentleman. Perfect for Cairo's first time. Winnie started talking about Jonathan in front of Cairo. How he sees Cairo in the class. Cairo felt shy to hear all this. Her interest in Jonathan increased. From the next day, Cairo started staring at Jonathan. Jonathan comes to her and tells her to meet me after class. After class, Jonathan invites Boris to a dinner. Boris left from there while doing a dance step. After his departure, Jonathan started trying that step. And then Cairo comes there. They both laughed and put this thing aside. Jonathan was so impressed with a paragraph written by Cairo that he remembers that whole verse to verse. Cairo also saw that he paid attention to her paragraph and was happy. Jonathan wanted Cairo to write a short story in the style of her favorite author. If she does this, Jonathan will give her full marks in midterm. Cairo agreed immediately. She told Jonathan that I have also read your book. Cairo also remembered many lines of his book verse to verse like Jonathan. Jonathan was also impressed to see this. He invites Cairo to a place this weekend, where he will discuss about her assignment. At night, Jonathan and his wife went to dinner. Here Winnie comes to take his order. Beatrice asked Jonathan that is she the same girl whom you are talking about. Jonathan said no, she is Cairo. But it was clear that Beatrice was jealous of Jonathan's interest in Cairo. She started insulting Jonathan in front of Boris to vent her anger. That you don't have that writer thing anymore. You haven't written anything for many years. You are just an ordinary teacher. On the weekend, Cairo went to a place mentioned by Jonathan. Jonathan followed her and sat next to her. Here a man started reciting a poem. Jonathan was listening to the poem very carefully. And Cairo was looking at Jonathan. After the poem, Cairo came out and lit a cigarette. Jonathan also started sharing the cigarette with her. The next day, Cairo came in front of Jonathan wearing a hot dress. When Boris asked about this, Cairo said nothing. When Boris left from there, Cairo started talking to Jonathan. They were getting closer. While going to the class, Jonathan got a message from his wife. About going out somewhere. In the class, Cairo tells Jonathan about her favorite author in whose style she will write the story. Jonathan was in a hurry to go home. So he said yes in a hurry. After he left, Winnie climbed on Jonathan's table and started teasing Cairo. 
Then Boris came to meet Jonathan. Winnie started teasing Boris. She puts his phone in her clothes. But here Cairo is not getting her phone. On the other hand, Jonathan's plan to go with his wife got canceled. Because she was busy with her work. Then Jonathan got a call from Cairo. Actually, Jonathan brought Cairo's phone in his bag by mistake. Jonathan and his wife's plan was already canceled. So Jonathan left to give phone to Cairo. When he reached outside Cairo's house, it started raining there. And Cairo came to Jonathan in a thin dress. Both of them started looking at each other. And then both of them kissed each other. After this, Jonathan came back to his house. Here Cairo sent him a mail. Jonathan's wife tells him that I am not able to do my work while you are here. So Jonathan went to a small cabin from there. Here Jonathan printed the story sent by Cairo. He started reading it. It was an adult story. In this story, a student and a teacher like Jonathan and Cairo were talked about. Jonathan got excited. He took off his pants. But everything changes the next day. Jonathan doesn't call Cairo as he used to before. Cairo asked him what happened. Jonathan said that he didn't like her story at all. There are a lot of mistakes in it. When Cairo said that it's all about us. Jonathan clearly said that there is nothing between us. We are just a teacher and a student and nothing else. Hearing this, Cairo's heart broke. Jonathan told her to either write it again, or I will fail you in midterm. Cairo got even more angry. She said that my story is perfect. You are just afraid that I wrote what you couldn't write. To humiliate Jonathan, Cairo called him a common writer. She said that if you have the guts, fail me now. Cairo went home crying. She started drinking with Winnie. On the other hand, Jonathan's face was clearly tensed. Jonathan's wife asked him what happened. Jonathan told her about Cairo's written story. Hearing the story, she got excited too. But as soon as they could do something, Boris came there. Jonathan was left frustrated again. On the other hand, Cairo and Winnie were talking. Cairo told Winnie that Jonathan was just pretending to be close to her. Cairo told Winnie to message Boris to distract her. Winnie started teasing Boris. But her words didn't affect Boris at all. To attract Boris's attention, Cairo made a decision. They both took off their clothes. They both came close. They sent their photos to Boris. As soon as Boris saw this, he left Jonathan's house. That's when Jonathan's wife got a call from Jonathan's school. Whole school had already found out about Jonathan and Cairo affair. His wife was shocked to hear this. She asked Jonathan why all this happening because of a student's written story? She asked Jonathan, Did something else happen between you and that girl? Jonathan refused. The next day, Cairo didn't come to class. She was in the vice principal's office. The vice principal asked both Cairo and Jonathan, What's going on? Cairo told him everything. Jonathan gave me a midterm assignment in advance. We smoked cigarettes together. We also met outside the school. But when it was Jonathan's turn, he was hesitating to answer the questions. Seeing this hesitation, the vice principal understood everything. And she suspended Jonathan from his job. Outside the office, Boris explains to Jonathan that you should have seen your limits. And now because of crossing the limit, you are in such a state. Boris left from there. After coming home when Jonathan told his wife that he was fired, his wife started doubting him. She asked him again, Did something happen between you two? But Jonathan refused again. His wife was not ready to accept all this. She asked him, Do you have feelings for that girl? Jonathan said nothing. They started fighting. And they started counting each other's shortcomings. The fight went so far that Jonathan's wife decided to divorce him. On the other hand, Winnie meets Cairo. She said that what you did caused Jonathan losing his job. But now Cairo doesn't care about this. She said that Jonathan underestimated me. But now he will know what I really am. Cairo told all these things to her greatest achievement. Finally, Cairo said that neither Jonathan has a job now nor his wife. Will he be able to write now? On that note, movie ends. So friends, that's all in today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel that I will meet you in the next video. Till then peace out.